Get in, loser. We're going to the internet. What's going on, guys? We are back with another Ahorn tutorial. You know, if you're doing some mapping and you just use all vanilla assets, no extra dependencies, like for the most part, you're fine. But with all of the cool dependencies that are now available to make the game do way more than we ever thought we could, uh, we need to have what's called an Everest.yaml. The Everest.yaml essentially uh, tells the game what version of the dependency is needed uh, so it doesn't crash or doesn't load properly. Sometimes you'll see um, when you're loading your game, certain mods failed to load. And a lot of the cases, that's just the dependency not being up to date or not being the right version. Uh, so you can easily uh, remedy that in your map by making sure you have an Everest.yaml. But it's kind of annoying to make. And this new plugin that was just created by LilyBV is called the Dependency Generator. And it just pretty much scans the map for all of the dependencies that are used and generates an Everest.yaml for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first and foremost, I've left a link to where you can get this down in the description below. This was a really, really easy install. You just Everest one-click installer, uh, load it, then it's it's pretty much good to go. You do need to restart um, Ahorn for it, but I mean, that took two seconds. So let's, uh, let's dig into how this is done. It looks really easy, shouldn't be too bad. Let's go. All right, so we are hanging out in a map that I am working on and let's pretend that I don't have an Everest.yaml. Uh, essentially, all we do is go up into map. Once this plugin is installed, we can see generate Everest.yaml. We click and internet magic. All right, so here's what's kind of cool. So I already had an Everest.yaml in my folder, but it found a newer version of Frost Helper and it wants to know if we want to update that, which is really cool. That's actually pretty convenient if you just want to quickly update it because you know some people are working on their maps for a long period of time and the dependencies could actually change as time goes on. So let's do that. Everest.yaml generated, let's check it out. All right. Oh, that's also really nice. It looks like it made a backup of my old Everest.yaml. Let's move that over. And there is everything. That's pretty cool. And it does all of it for you, which is even better. So with that, I mean, that's, that's all you have to do. It's very, very important to make sure you have this in your package. If you... Um, if you haven't yet checked it out, uh, Moon made a really awesome package generator that you pretty much just click what you want and it puts everything together. So once you do that, it will generate an empty Everest.yaml, but this, you just go in Ahorn, let it generate it for you. It took about two minutes. Uh, it it kind of just froze up everything for about two minutes, but then came back on and everything's looking sweet. That's that's pretty darn cool. That was the first time I figured I'd just do it live like the first time and kind of see how it went. And uh, that was extremely easy. Like really, really, really easy. So you guys got to go definitely check that out. Grab that link in the description below. Uh, and uh, I hope to see your map very soon. Until then, have a great night.